Ever since I did my wardrobe declutter a few days ago, I have been feeling super motivated to continue to declutter and organize my home. So I thought I'd bring you along with me today. But you know, I'm always in two minds whether to film this type of content because I do think you would possibly get more value from me sharing how I've been able to change my relationship with shopping, the mindset shifts that needed to happen, how I've become much more intentional in my purchasing, and also how I've been able to push through barriers when it comes to decluttering. Because believe me, when I first started, I found it very difficult to let go of things. But on the other hand, I think it can be helpful to see that sometimes this is a bit of a journey. It can be a bit of a process. It's not something that necessarily happens overnight. When I first started all of this four, maybe even five years ago now, gosh, as a former shopaholic, I had a lot of stuff and I have let go of copious amounts of stuff. It's unbelievable actually how many bags of stuff has left the building and yet I still find myself needing to let go of things. So if that resonates with you, hopefully this video will serve as a bit of encouragement, a bit of motivation to just keep going. Okay, so let's crack on. I have three main goals today. So the first one is that I want to move some of the clothing that is in the rail, that is on the rail, should I say, in the other room, into the chest of drawers that we were declustering together the other day. Then goal two is I have a big box of shoes that I need to go through and declutter. I probably need to get rid of around 50% of those because I just have too many. And then thirdly, my makeup collection has been getting a little bit messy of late. So I want to go through that, organize it, see if there's anything I can identify to let go of, anything I'm not using, and also identify anything that I could kind of use up, make a conscious effort to use up and move out of my collection. Okay, let's get going. Before we start, just an update on this chest of drawers. So you'll remember that I didn't go through this drawer with you on camera when I did the wardrobe declutter the other day, but I did go through this off camera myself yesterday and I managed to do a big declutter and organize of that drawer. And I managed to move all of the thermal tops that I'd been keeping in the second drawer down into this drawer here, which actually makes a lot more sense. Then if we go in here now, you'll see there's quite a lot of space that I can utilize. I also went back through these tops a couple of times and got rid of some more, just kind of let them go, um, either because I wasn't wearing them or they were really not in very good condition. I probably could do with going through that again, but we're okay for now. And then there's just a little bit of space that I could utilize in here. There's kind of a gap here and a little bit here. So I'm first identifying t-shirts and tops that can be easily folded. I think they would be a really good choice to put in the chest of drawers. And then if I've got room, I'm also going to see if I can move some of my knitwear into those drawers. I'll be honest, I prefer to have most of my things hung up if I possibly can. I just find it easier to be able to identify what's there. But I have noticed with some of my knitwear that if it's been hanging for a while and then I put it on, it does get that kind of shoulder poke um, which doesn't look very good so it probably would be better to fold some of those if I possibly can. Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you trying to break us up? When I'm trying to build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you have thought that I could have taken all of those things on those hangers and get them into that chest of drawers. It is quite packed tight as you saw but still um, I, I'm really really pleased because I think I might be able to get rid of the rail in the other room sooner than I thought. Really really happy with that. I am genuinely shocked at how much has gone off this rail and I'm feeling super motivated to carry on decluttering, carry on reorganizing because then I might just be able to get rid of this rail from this room. 
amazing. So we are making amazing progress already today, really, really happy. So I need to go through this box of shoes though. As I've said before, I am weirdly attached to clothes, but I'm also weirdly attached to shoes. But I have made the decision before I go through this that I think at least 50% of this box needs to go because I have so many shoes and I know that I've got some shoes that are even more beautiful than one that, the ones in here. So these just need to go. So let's get started. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system, my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. So I've not done too badly there at all. I think there was about 18 pairs of shoes here and I've picked six to keep. So the ones that I'm keeping are just these basic red pumps. I haven't got any others like this and I think that I'll possibly wear them. I've also got some basic navy pumps. Again, I think I'll probably wear those. I've got these really pretty kind of uh, gem detailed shoes and these are Jasper Conran and I remember I had another pair in fact they're in here and I'm letting them go and they were super comfortable so um, I'll keep those um, this pair is a bit of a maybe I'm going to see if I can repair them they're just Carvella patent pumps but again I just think they always look really well they're really wearable um, I'm also keeping these boots which were actually my stage boots um, I don't think I would necessarily wear them a lot outside, well, off the stage, but you never know where life's going to take you, so I'm going to keep these. I um, did like a little Lady Gaga bit and had these on, so good memories with those as well. I'm keeping these little um, kind of grunge type shoes. I wore those a lot for a period of time. Then these are a bit of a maybe as well. I might let these go because um, I don't tend to wear them and they're not in the best of condition so I'll see but they've to be fair they've not been worn a lot um, but I wore them you know on nights out and they do get wrecked then the rest of the shoes I will show you actually bear with me so this is the pile of shoes that just needs to go um, I've got these kind of glitter heels here but these were worn on stage as well and they're not in the best of condition these I never really got on with I like them but you just slip all over in them so I just never reached for them and then these um, these are brand new so it's so well, you can see so it's so annoying that I'm letting go of these but I've noticed this with a lot of the synthetic shoes when I've been decluttering um let me see if I can show you yeah so here as you can see come on camera focus um the especially the shoes that are kind of like pleather it's all kind of breaking down and it's not because um you, you know they're just they've not been worn it's not damage from being worn they're just breaking down i've had to actually get rid of a few boots as well that i really liked because of this problem and then that red that you could see on these shoes is actually off these heels because these are doing exactly the same thing they're all kind of breaking down and going all over so bit of a shame really because all of the other shoes that were leather are in perfect condition these i wore to death um probably someone could repair them but yeah so all of those are going to go then in this pile these are shoes that i'm going to potentially sell because they're all brand new and in good condition these just aren't really my cup of tea anymore um i did think about keeping these but i've got other shoes that i would wear but as you can see they've never been worn um but actually i'm not really into these super pointy shoes anymore uh these are really cool but i've never worn them so yeah they need to go and they're obviously in beautiful condition um somebody would really like them i know there's a lot of kind of people that love quirky shoes so i'm going to try and sell them these are brand new i did think about keeping them because i do like them but i just don't get on with slingbacks so i'm gonna let those go and then this pair i love these shoes and again they are brand new naughty kirsty um 
and I do really like them. I would definitely wear this type of shoe. I just think they're so pretty. But unfortunately, every time I put them on, they hurt my feet. And I just think... If I haven't worn these, I owned these when I used to go out, you know, with the girls two, three times a week. And if I've never worn them when I was doing that, I'm probably not going to wear them now. So I have to let them go, I'm afraid. I think they just nip my toes a bit too much. And so I've never worn them. So that's it. Um, I am pretty pleased that all of these are going. What I tend to do with shoes um, or clothes or anything I'm selling really is I'll put them on for a short period of time. Hopefully I'll achieve some money. If I don't, then I do sadly send them to the charity shop. And I am just trying to treat these things as a bit of a lesson to not over purchase and be really, really mindful, um, you know, not to buy things that I don't need. Right, so we are on to the next job. So this is the majority of my makeup. As you can see, I have not been very good at keeping this tidy. So I just want to give this a sort out, get it looking nice again, uh, maybe give these drawers a bit of a clean and also see if there's anything that I can let go of. I have decluttered my makeup collection many, many times from my ridiculous days of buying too much. I have since decluttered, given stuff away, sold makeup. So the vast majority of this is stuff that I am using, but as you can see, it could still do with a bit of a sort out. We don't have to move so fast, baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe. And right away I so much time looping in the blurry lights. Get in my way now, don't be shy, we'll be here dancing day. what we're left with it probably still looks like a lot and organized chaos to some but i do actually use all of these products and i know where everything is i am going to take a few of these things out and give them a proper clean up off camera but at least it's a lot better organized than it was i thought i'd show you some of the things that i've pulled out so um i've pulled out this rcma powder if you've ever bought this um you know that the decanter is just terrible for everyday use so i popped it into this rather unattractive container but I'm going to leave this out to kind of remind me to use it up because I tend to reach more for the Laura Mercier one but I do want to get use out of this. This is actually one of the things that I do when I'm decluttering. I kind of do what I call a bit of a slow declutter so I will use things up and then not replace them. So the same with these. I've got the Precisely My Brow uh, Benefit pencil there so, but there's not much left of it, so I'm going to make an effort to use that up and move it out of the collection. Same with the Maybelline Fit Me. It's not my favourite, but it's perfectly fine for every day, so I want to get that used up. And then this Tarte Shape Tape, I don't think there's much left in that, so I'm going to just pop them on the counter to remind me to use them up. I do actually prefer to have everything put away, but it's not going to harm for a couple of weeks. Um, this, unfortunately, the little brow coat brow gel, that uh, just needs to be binned. And then these are a couple of things I'm letting go of. So I've got a couple of Anastasia Beverly Hills single eyeshadows here. As you can see, I've never used them, but I'm going to gift them to my brother's girlfriend because I think she'll use them. Just because if I go over here, I've got Soft Glam, I've got Modern Renaissance, I've also got Sub culture and a couple of other palettes under there all of which I do use but I just don't think I necessarily need them I've clearly not reached for these and I definitely bought these several years ago so they can go then I've got these two little Estee Lauder palettes and they're so lovely I thought I would use these but I just never reach for them so I'm gonna let my mum have these I think she'll really really enjoy them and because they're small and she probably doesn't wear 
makeup as often as I do. That's not going to take up a lot of room in her cupboard. So again, I know that this is quite a big collection. It's not exactly minimal, but I do genuinely use all of these things that you can see here. So I'm pretty happy with it right now. I probably will reduce it even further over time, but for now, I'm perfectly happy with it. Then before you go, I've got a bit of a bonus declutter. So this box has been kicking around for ages. As some of you know, I had loads of works going on at my house and it meant that I had to kind of move things out of uh, bedrooms, move things out of the garage that um, were just hiding out there, ready, waiting to be decluttered. And they're all over my house. So I really want to get them out. So I'm actually gonna let go of all of these Fortnum and Mason tins. I did save them because I thought I could put like a plant in them or I could maybe pour my own candles in them because I do think they're really, really cute but I'm going to let my mom have these because she's been wanting to sort out a few things and I actually have some more tins that have tea in them at the moment. So if I decide at a later date that I want to make my own candles or whatever, then I will still have some other tins. But um, I am a bit of a fan of trying to reuse things if I can. So there's six tins there going to my mom's. I'll take them up to her house after I finish filming to get them out of the way. Then I'm also going to get rid of some jars and stuff. I did use these and I've painted them with uh, blackboard paint, but I've probably got a little bit too many. So I'm going to just let these go. I know my mum is trying to sort out and declutter her house and she was saying she could do with some jars uh, for stuff. So um, yeah, I will go and take these to her and let her use them. So that is pretty much it for today. I have got an awful lot more decluttering to do. It's weird really to say that I've been decluttering for four or five years now. To still need to do some is just ridiculous. Um, but I guess all I can say was I was a bit of a hoarder previously and thankfully no more. And thankfully I don't bring a lot in to create clutter. So that's good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it motivated you to get on and do perhaps some of the decluttering that you need to do but yeah thank you and I look forward to seeing you in the next one bye now